Nasdaq just recently presented a trade in Wednesday's regular DR session for potentially 3R, easy to spot for everyone. But what if I told you that this exact price action could have been traded for almost 7R using just a few adjustments and a simple data-driven approach? You wouldn't believe me, right? Here's a step-by-step -step approach of using historical data to increase your trading performance to the next level. I will quickly go through the price action prior to the regular DR session, which will show you where price is coming from. Even though all three DR sessions closed as green DR boxes, a clear DR downside model was intact, where all DR sessions respected the previous session highs. The first hour of the regular trading hours formed, and the high of the box not only rejected the overnight DR session lows, but also the previous day's overnight DR session highs, before it pushed lower to confirm shorts. That's a crucial detail as it gives information about where the algo is currently pricing to. We have a short confirmation with the 10.50 AM candle now and an overall DR downside model structure intact. With the short confirmation on Wednesday's regular DR session for NASDAQ, we have our first statistical advantage now. The DR true percentage is 75%. Only 25% of the time in the past 18 years, price closed above the defining range during the session on a 5-minute time frame. For a possible entry, we want to wait for a retracement back into the defining range. There's a 90% probability for retracements back at least into the defining range after a short confirmation and a 78.8% probability for retracements back into the implied defining range. So the confirmation happened with the 10.50 AM candle. This timestamp helps a lot and with all the present information, we can switch over to Quant X and access historical data to see what the algo has done in the past 18 years under the exact circumstances. First of all, we filter the confirmation time and select 10.45 a.m. This concludes short confirmations between 10.45 to 11 a.m. Now we're working with a total of 45 data sets, where Nasdaq confirmed shorts in Wednesday's regular DR session between 10.45 and 11 a.m., and the DR session didn't turn into a false session. Just looking at the retracement time, we can see that 50% of maximum retracements happened up until 1.30 p.m., and at 2.30 p.m. 70% of retracements were historically done. Please keep in mind that I'm showing just a glimpse of what's possible with historical data and the DR trading strategy. The next thing we will look at is where the algo has made the most maximum retracements for the session back into the defining range under these circumstances. Two areas clearly stand out. The minus 0.11 to minus 0.2 and the minus 0.41 to minus 0.5 area. Seems like the algo loves to have its maximum retracements for the session right there, when confirming shorts between 10.45 and 11 a.m. The median max retracement level is minus 0.3 and the 70 percentile sits at minus 0.6. These two can be included into the two most frequent retracement areas, which makes minus 0.11 to minus 0.3 and minus 0.41 to minus 0.6 two very interesting areas to look for entries. This applies only if Nasdaq confirms shorts on Wednesdays in the regular DR session between 10.45 and 11 a.m. Last but not least, we're looking at a data-backed high probability target for the session, which is measured in standard deviations. 1.2 to 1.29 clearly stands out in this distribution and also lines up with the 70 percentile. 1.2 was the maximum extension for the session 70% historically. That's a great insight and definitely gives you more confidence for your trades. With all of that analyzed, let's get back to the chart and see the vision we have now with all of the information. We have a DR downside model intact and a short confirmation between 10.45 and 11 a.m. We know that the probability of a DR false session is only 25%, and the retracement back into the defining range sits at 90%, while the retracement back into the implied defining range has a 78.8% chance. 50% of all maximum retracements were historically done up until 1.30 p.m. and 70% up until 2.15 p.m. The first high probability retracement area to look for a potential entry is from minus 0.11 to minus 0.3, which covers 50% of historical maximum retracements. 
The other one sits at minus 0.41 to minus 0.6, which covers 70% of historical maximum retracements. As a target, the 1.2 to 1.29 standard deviation level clearly stood out for this specific confirmation time window entry. That looks very promising and calculated on historical events rather than making any decisions based on your gut instinct. Fast forward, price consolidates below the defining range for about one and a half hours before it finally retraces back into the implied defining range. Time-wise, price is covering now almost 50% of historical max retracement times and almost 50% of historical max retracements as it reaches the first high probability area. A trade place right here with stops covering the minus 0.3 retracement level offers a potential 5.3R to the high probability target for the session. With the next few candles you'd get stopped out but as time passes and price retraces deeper into the range, it triggers the second bullet for the session that has now covered close to 50% of historical max retracement time and almost 70% of historical max retracement. Your stop should definitely cover the minus 0.6 retracement level since historically only 30% went above that level if the DR session held true. The second high probability trade offers potentially 6.7R and the target gets hit with price extending to almost two standard deviations. We're dealing with probabilities here and not every time it will play out like this but with these insights, you definitely increase your probabilities and know, based on historical events, what the algo is more likely going to do under certain circumstances. This could have easily been a DR basic trade taken off a IDR mid rejection, targeting the one standard deviation level, but as you've seen, you can increase the outcome with statistical insights even further. I hope you gained some insights into the DR trading strategy and how just a few historical insights can change the view on the situation into a more favorable outcome. Have a good trading week and I hope to see you in the next video. We're gonna take on the world.